Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to take a look at in this video is Wi-Fi 7. And the reason that we're going to take a look at Wi-Fi 7 is because we have multiple, multiple, multiple vendors who are now pushing these whole home uh, mesh Wi-Fi systems that have Wi-Fi 7. Well, Wi-Fi 7 is not even a ratified standard yet, um, but... Uh, it will be, uh, it should be ratified hopefully next year. And then you'll probably see, you know, Grandstream, Ubiquity, some of these other vendors uh, creating the traditional access points that we're used to for businesses uh, that support Wi-Fi 7. So let's take a look real quick at some of the differences between Wi-Fi 6 and Wi-Fi 7. So in the current... Uh, version of Wi-Fi, the current ratified version, which is Wi-Fi 6, we've got a theoretical max speed of 9.6 gigabits, channel width of up, up to 160 megahertz, 1024 QAM, 8x8 MuMimo, MuMimo, however you want to pronounce it, latency of below 10 milliseconds. Uh, we did a good job with Wi-Fi 6, Wi-Fi 6E of dense environments because now we have... Uh, you know, BSS coloring, things like that. Wi-Fi 6 is a ratified standard, and it does not support multi-link operations. So we're going to get to that here in just a second. So let's switch over to Wi-Fi 7. Our theoretical maximum speed is 46 gigabits per second. could be 49. 46 is a nice, safe number here. Part of the reason for that is we're going to have, you know, the 2.4, the 5 gigahertz, and the 6 gigahertz spectrum in the 6 gigahertz spectrum, we're going to have channel widths of up to 320 megahertz. That's huge. We're operating in a 4096 QAM modulation. We're going to have 16 by 16 MUMIMO, MUMIMO, however you pronounce that. Holy cow, 16 by 16. The latency is going to be below 5 milliseconds. There are improvements, which you'll see. Uh, once this is ratified, I'll really dig into some of the... Uh, the meat and potatoes on what makes this different. I, some details could change between now and then, and I just want to make sure before we go whole hog. But I wanted to get out there because these vendors are pushing, pushing, pushing every day with this. No, Wi-Fi 7 is not a ratified standard, but it should be if everything goes according to plan in later 2024. And... Is Wi-Fi 7 going to support multi-link operation? Yes, it is. And what multi-link operation is, it's going to allow your client to connect to multiple bands at the same time, right? So if you've got a Wi-Fi 7 AP and you've got a client that supports Wi-Fi 7, then this uh, client could theoretically connect to the 2 and the 5 and the 6 uh, gigahertz bands on your access point and use all of those bands to simultaneously, uh, you know, access the access point. So we're going to see some huge, uh, you know, throughput uh, leaps, uh, huge connectivity uh, leaps with this. Would I run out and buy a whole home system by TP-Link or Netgear right now? No, i I personally wouldn't. I know people love that. They love to be on the bleeding, leading edge. Go for it. But you don't have any clients that can take advantage of that yet, you know. Um, and, and, I mean, maybe there is a, a manufacturer pumping out laptops with Wi-Fi 7 that I don't know about. But, I mean, we're, we can't even get all laptop manufacturers to include Wi-Fi 6, 6E yet. Um, not all phones have caught up to that, right? So, I do think that Wi-Fi 7, uh, with a lot of the advantages, and we'll revisit this video next year once it is a ratified standard and more devices have come out. But I do think that Wi-Fi 7 coming out is going to push further push the adoption of 6E and 6. Um, but there are still people that are, you know, deploying Wi-Fi 5 uh, APs. You know, Ubiquity and Grandstream and all these companies wouldn't continue to sell their AC access points if people weren't buying them, that would be, it would be silly. Um, so there's a use case for a lot of this stuff. So stay tuned. Let me know if you're excited about Wi-Fi 7. Let me know uh, your thoughts on it down in the comments. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Don't go out and my advice would be, it's your money, so do what you want. But I wouldn't recommend a whole home Wi-Fi 7 system just yet. 
And uh, yeah, make sure you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, share, follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below along with affiliate links um, and a Patreon link if you'd like to support the channel. And if you need IT consulting, you want to talk about your Wi-Fi deployment, you want to talk about your network security, you want to talk about your NAS, all those good things, voice, voice over IP, we handle all that. Head on over to willyhow.com, fill out the contact form that's on the front page, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. If we can't help you, we'll get you to a vendor who can. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. Stay tuned as Wi-Fi 7 heads towards a ratified standard, and I'm sure there'll be more. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.